what is the intelligence revolution? I've written a new book called The Intelligence Revolution, how to transform your business with AI. And what I do in this book is I talk about the fact that we're now experiencing this intelligence revolution where every business is being transformed and challenged by artificial intelligence and machine learning. And in this book, I guide companies through this process of rethinking what this means, uh, thinking through their own business uh, processes, how they're offering service to their customers to really streamline and improve what they do. I believe that artificial intelligence is the, is the most powerful technology tool humankind has ever had access to. AI allows machines now to do things that previously only humans could do. Machines and AIs can now read, they can write, they can speak, they have debates, they can be creative, they can understand emotions. All of these things I explore in this book in a lot more detail and give you examples of what this might mean. And then we talk about, okay, this seems very overwhelming. What does that mean for my business? And you can actually break this down and you can say, okay, as a business, I have customers. I might deliver services and products to my customers. So what does this now mean? How do I need to rethink? And AI can help you do this. It can help you think about smarter products, for example. So um, even anything that is produced nowadays will become smarter in the future. We're seeing this explosion of smart internet connected devices that start with our smartphones, then our smart TVs and smart everything today where we have cars and washing machines and toasters and fridges and ev everyday items all connected to the internet. And they increasingly use artificial intelligence to make this product experience better. Our cars are able to keep us safer and in the future drive by themselves using artificial intelligence. Our toothbrushes are able to give us feedback on how well we've brushed our teeth using artificial intelligence. So if I talk to a toothbrush ma manufacturer even 10 years ago saying you will have AI in your products in the future, they would have thought oh, I'm crazy. So this is what I do with organizations. I help them rethink what these um, new technologies mean for them. If you are a service company, again, services are being transformed. Companies like Netflix, companies like Amazon are delivering a service that is increasingly personalized. Their recommendations are becoming better. Even companies like Spotify are able to really understand your music taste and then make a unique playlist recommendations just for you based on this. And in the future, they might even be able to compose completely new music that only exists for you that has understood, actually, this is your music taste at this time of the day. These are the sounds you like. These are the rhythms you like. These are the voices you like. And then they can use AI to produce this all for you. The other component that we need to reflect on is business processes. So we need to think, okay, how can we now use artificial intelligence to automate some of the things we do, improve them, augment our workplaces, be this in a manufacturing environment we, where we now have connected machines that you can monitor remotely that will predict when they might break down and need maintenance where you have supply chains with automated warehouses, self-driving trucks, self-floating ships, and even drone deliveries, and where you use um, AI to automate some of your processes. So not just using robots in the classical sense, but all, also some of the white collar automation, where we use robotic process automation, where we automate some of the things that people do in their administrative functions. And the, in the past, we had to program all of these processes. We need to watch people, what they're doing. Let's think about a call center. You would say, okay, this call center person, when the call is about this a, a service failure, they would look into this and then put the data from there into this one and then open this tool and you would program this all in. Nowadays, we have intelligent machine learning systems that can simply watch what a call center agent does for a month and then learn from them and then make suggestions and automate things in the background. 
So this is what AI can do. And I believe AI can help us make our businesses better, deliver a better service, and in the end, make our world a better place by making us more human and giving some of the things that are not really that human to the machines to do because they're better at it. In the book, I also talk about the implications of all of this. So what does this mean for people? What does it mean for organizational culture? It's really important that we take people with us in this process, that you don't do AI to people, but you engage everyone so they don't, they're not scared about, but they're excited about, and they are in the driving seat to actually making the changes that we're talking about. I also talk about ethics, which is an important aspect. We need to make sure that these systems are not fed by completely biased data and then uh, delivering uh, completely biased results that are unfair. Um, we've seen this a lot in the press. So making these processes more transparent, my hope is that we will augment our workplace, make them better for us as, as humans. And then I talk about, okay, what does this now mean in practice in terms of our leadership? How do we approach this? The leadership needs to understand what this technology can now do. And this is what this book is all about, helping leaders to understand the, the capabilities of these technologies today and how they can transform their businesses. But then they need to change the organizational culture bring people with them, and also think about the technology and the skills that they might need in the organization. So we talk about the important skills in terms of the data literacy that you need, how you develop those skills in your organizations in the best way. Um, there's a huge shortage at the moment in talent when it comes to machine learning engineers and data scientists that can actually do some of this in practice. But I talk about how you address this in easy ways, partnering with other organizations. And a lot of those services are now available as a service where you simply sign up with companies like Amazon, Microsoft, or Google, or IBM, and they provide those AI services for you without you actually needing all the programming skills. I have lots of templates as well in there that will help you design a, an AI strategy for your organization. So my hope is that this will become a blueprint that helps you as a leader rethink what it means for your organization, for your own world, and then you can apply this and help to transform your organization. If you want to learn any more, have a look at my book, but also have a look at my YouTube channel where I have hundreds of videos that will dive into this technology. I also have a, a newsletter on AI that you can subscribe to and I have a website with basically hundreds if not thousands of articles on AIs and case studies of, of how organizations all across the world are using this technology now to really transform themselves. <music>